What is going on guys? Welcome to the freaking weekend. I'm Moose. Thanks for coming back to the channel now. Today we're gonna talk about all the lethals in Infinite Warfare. So far we have a list of 10 and we have some brand new ones that look pretty fucking sweet and then we have some oldie moldies returning which is expected. So without further ado let's get into it but first actually let me let me back this up one second i'm doing a giveaway for an elgato hd 60 s so for any of you dudes out there that want to start recording this is the perfect time to do it the giveaway is down below in the description so make sure to check that shit out and while we're talking about these lethals feel free to enjoy the 75 and 5 kill confirm gameplay in the background from yours truly so starting off, we have the Cluster Grenade. This is our first lethal. This is our Frag Grenade, just a little bit upgraded. And this is actually going to replace the Frag Grenade. And the official description is cookable grenade that explodes into a series of smaller blasts. So exactly like you would expect, a Cluster Grenade, you know, you can cook it just like a normal Frag Grenade. And when it blows up, it's going to shatter into smaller grenades like a cluster next up is our plasma grenade and this is going to replace our semtex or our sticky grenade and the official description is sticky grenade that sprays burning plasma in all directions so on top of this thing sticking to an enemy to a teammate to a wall to the ground to the ceiling to any fucking thing in the map it's going to have this plasma that bursts out in every single direction. It's going to damage enemies around there. So that's really cool. And again, this is a nice little update to the Semtex. So it's a little more damaging to the enemies and to yourself if you hit yourself. So don't be a retard. Third on our list of lethals, we have the Seeker Grenade or the Spider Grenade. You've seen plenty of this in the multiplayer reveal as well as the campaign reveal. And the official description, Autonomous? Autonomous? Hip Hop? Hippopotamus? But for real, it's the autonomous. <laughs> I can't even fucking say this. Autonomous sticky device that seeks out nearby enemies and explodes. Now, from all the gameplay we have been able to watch, this little seeker grenade or this little spider will run around for about three to four seconds and then explode. So it's really good if you need to clear out a hallway or if you know somebody's like camping around the corner in the next room. It's really helpful. Other than that, it just runs around for like three seconds and then explodes. So you really have to know what you're doing with it. Next up, we have the trip mine. Again, this is exactly how it worked in Black Ops 3. It is a mine that you trip over and it will explode. I know it's, I know that's, that's just crazy. Again, official description, magnetic mine that detonates when an enemy interrupts the beam. Now, next up, halfway through our list, we have the exploding drone, and this is a launched aerial drone that explodes on impact or remotely. Now, this thing is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be like a floating C4. Like, that's the best way to explain it. There's no other way to explain it besides floating motherfucking C4. Now, Number six, we have the TAR or the Total Ass Raping Grenade, I believe. Don't quote me, it's something along those lines. But really, it's a rocket propelled system that delivers a timed sticky plastic payload. So this is pretty much like a rocket that you throw and it blows up. And it's gonna be fucking ridiculous. Like, they have so much futuristic shit. It's redonkulous in this game. Now, next up, we have the Fletchette Grenade. And this is similar to the Cluster Grenade. Again, official description. Split into multiple propelled grenades on impact. Now, the only difference between this and the Cluster Grenade is this does not have the ability to be cooked. So as soon as you throw it, and as soon as it hits something, whether it be the wall, the ground, an enemy, a teammate, it's going to blow up into smaller grenades like a little cluster. So... The main point to take away from this, this one explodes on impact. The other one, the cluster grenade, is a timed explosion. Now, number eight, this is another brand new lethal weapon. And this shit is crazy. It is the sphincter. Actually, no, sorry, the black hole projector. I, I mix those up sometimes. So this one creates a singularity that pulls in enemies with crushing force. So it's like, uh, it's pretty much just a claymore that sucks you into the hole it, it works the same as a claymore you walk over it it blows you up instead it sucks you into a black hole and you're fucking dead next up now this one's really awesome this is the upgraded tomahawk this is the bio spike now this throws a ballistic knife that explodes on enemy impact and it obviously just like the other tomahawks it can be recovered after you use it 
it's gonna deflect off walls but the coolest thing is it has this mini little explosion when you hit the dude so if someone's really close by next to him he's gonna get that shock as well but uh, again it's just a really cool updated tomahawk now the final lethal we have is the handy dandy C4 this is a high explosive that sticks to surfaces and can be detonated remotely so nothing new here Just throw it on the ceiling throw it on the wall throw it on B while you're playing domination like an asshole and kill everybody so there we have it these are the 10 lethals in infinite warfare that we'll have to use to rape to destroy the enemies so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite lethal is down below in the comments make sure to hit that like button subscribe and as always guys thanks for watching